fan reaction time then, Hull City 1, Burnley 1. And I genuinely don't think I've ever seen a more frustrating opening 60, 65, 70 minutes than I did in that game of football. I don't want to sound like, you know, an, an, an arrogant football fan, but with all due respect to Hull City, we should not be taking... 70 minutes to get going against teams that are down in 16th. Now, I know every every team is, you know, got their own qualities and stuff like that, and football isn't played on paper. But when you look at how much money that we've spent and the players that we've brought in and the players that we have, we shouldn't be taking that long, in my opinion, to get going in these sort of games. The difference between us a couple of seasons ago and this season was that we were punishing teams like that. I know we started slowly, and I have said that quite a lot. But it was around about this stage that we were starting to click the last time out in the Championship. I'm still not seeing it yet. However, I did feel like in the second half against Sheffield Wednesday, we did start to click. And that's the most frustrating th thing for me today. Because we've been calling out for Loren for a while now to start. Well, I have personally. And I know some of you on Twitter and, and in the YouTube comments have as well. Um, but he was fantastic against Sheffield Wednesday. He was the man of the match for a reason. He got given the man of the match on Turfcast. He got given the man of the match on the official club account. Um, everybody was raving about how good he was. You could see how much better we were as a midfield. We moved the ball quicker. We moved the ball better. He dragged us you know, 30 yards up the pitch, which is what he does best. And he gave Brownell the freedom to sort of like play just behind the striker. And that's where Brownell's best. So what does Scott Parker do? He changes it, and, and, and I can't really work out why he changed it, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I understand he might, and some people might say, you know, he's just three games in a week, he's going to struggle to play three games in a week. Fair enough, if that is the reason, then, then, then you understand it. But then the players that come in for him have got to produce. Now, I like Hannibal, and I've said it a million times um, I, you know, I don't think he played bad today. There's some people criticising him on Twitter. I don't think he was horrendous. He's just not great in possession. And that's obviously what people see. But obviously we got the chance in the first half, didn't we, from his brilliant pressing. And that's what he's good at. And I've said it a million times. And at the risk of repeating myself on these fan reactions, because you must all be getting bored of him by now. Um, he's good against teams like your Leeds United, you know. Blackburn away, West Brom away, you know, stuff like that. But when we're going to Hull, where we're going to have the most of the ball and we have to create chances, he's not your man, in my opinion. Loren is that man because he will play the box-to-box -box role, Cullen can play the deep role, and then Brownell or somebody else in the 10. Um, I would... It's going to, Again, I, I don't want to again say the same thing I said after Sheffield Wednesday, but it's going to be difficult um, to understand what to do with that midfield when Foster is back because Fleming today played at his best for that five or ten minutes when he was playing in that number 10 role that's when he got the goal great header by the way and I would like to see him in the 10 Foster in the in the nine uh, and then I'd still like to see Loren and Cullen it's harsh on Brownell because he's our top scorer to be fair um, and again I don't think he was great tonight I just feel like Brownell He's better when he's further forward. I don't like it when when he's asked to play a deeper role. He's better when he's further forward. Is Josh Brownell? Um, so yeah, frustrated. Obviously, I'm I'm happy to get the point because in that that first 45 minutes was probably one of the worst 45 minutes of, of the season, or, or, or certainly for a while in this league. It was poor. It was like luster. We were too slow. We went in one 0 down, and and Hull deserved their lead. By the way, it's not like we were unlucky to go in in one 0 down. You could say the goal was a little bit unlucky uh, because obviously it came from a deflection. But on the balance of play, Hull were the better team, and that's what I'm saying. Like as a team getting relegated from the Premier League, we shouldn't be going to the. I nearly called it the KC Stadium then, um, the MKM Stadium, whatever it's called these days, and and being second best in the first 45 minutes and my criticism with the the style and the subs as well comes into the second half because we did start a little better to be fair in the second half but it soon went sloppy very quickly and I was a little bit frustrated because I thought met the change bring Loren on at half time met the changes now it's clear to see from anybody anybody can see this and see that it's not working so bring him on now what's the point in waiting 15, 20 minutes, but that's exactly what he did. He waited another 15, 20 minutes, and when he came on, to be fair, instantly, I remember thinking he's given the ball away a little bit, uh, has Loren here, and, and, and he's not really getting into it, but then he started doing what he does, dragging us up the pitch, 
and he should, he, I've said it before, he, he should just start, in my opinion. Uh, Dan Adji came on as well. It, it, it was good to see him uh, get some game time. I, I don't think he had enough minutes to be able to affect it because he's obviously young and very inexperienced. So I, I, I don't really think he had enough minutes to uh, to, to, to affect the game. Uh, Corley Orshaw, I think he's my favourite player, is Corley Orshaw, before I get into it. But he was awful tonight. What I love about Corley Orshaw, though, is he never hides. He's always wanting the ball. And that's great to see. Like I, I still genuinely believe he's going to go really, really, really far in this game. But he needs to do better. When he gets in behind, which he does quite a lot, he gets in behind, he'll beat the fullback. He chooses the wrong option every single time. And then he'll put a stupid ball across the pitch where nobody's there. Or he'll try and pass it back towards the edge. It'll get cut out. Or then he'll try and turn backwards and get tackled. It's just... Again, I get it, he's young and he's going to get better, but he just needs to engage his brain a little bit more and stop and think. It's all a bit headless chicken sometimes with Luca. So I was frustrated with Luca tonight as well. But my, my main frustration from tonight is how much better we were in that last half an hour because that was because, in my opinion, Loren was there. And we just looked so much better with him in the, in the, in the midfield. And I never thought I'd say that when we signed him from Stoke. I thought he'd be a backup player. And maybe that's why Parker's reluctant to use him because he thought the same as well. He probably thought Hannibal's coming for a little bit more money and he's going to be playing more and that's probably why Parker's trying to play more, maybe justify the price tag, I'm not too sure. Uh, but I just think it's horses for courses is probably the perfect way of saying it. Lorenz's good for these type of matches. Hannibal is good for a different type of match. If we get promoted, Hannibal might be fantastic in the Premier League next season when we don't have the ball and we need somebody to get stuck in and put themselves about... Um, but yeah, for me, I was frustrated because with that final 20 minutes, we were, on the balance of play in the second half, I think we were the better side. But in that final 20 minutes, we were head and shoulders above them. And that's what we were doing. We were committing bodies forward. We were throwing men forward. That's how the goal came. We had, we had men in the box. I couldn't believe it. We actually had players in the box. And then it was a fantastic cross from Anthony. And then great header from Fleming. He's going to score goals for us, but he needs to be playing in his preferred position, in my opinion. And that's when that goal came, when he was playing in the 10 row, because Hontondri came on at that point, hadn't he? And he was playing in the 9. So, yeah, a lot of takeaways. Hopefully, we see Loren starting on Saturday, because if, if he plays Hannibal against against um, QPR on Saturday at home, I'm, I'm going to be very frustrated with that. My hand, by the way, is knackered. You can see the camera shaking. Apologies for that. Um, but, yeah. Lorenz got to start more. I think that's the main takeaway for me. Hopefully Parker's looked at that, he's, he's learned from it and he's not going to be stubborn and, and, and try and you know do what he did tonight again on Saturday. But yeah, should have won it in the end as well, shouldn't we, with that chance? I mean, it probably would have been a bit of an injustice on the balance of the 90 minutes for Hull. Um, but yeah, it was just all Burnley in that final 20 minutes. And that's why I get frustrated because that could have been the full match if they were allowed to play that way, if the right personnel were played. Um, so yeah, a little bit frustrated. A, a draw away from home is not the worst result in the world. You know, draw your away games, win your own games. The chances are you're going to go up. So another point on the board. Keep plodding along. Back up to second. They're the positives. It was just a very frustrating first 60, 75 minutes. At 60, 65 minutes, wasn't it? Um, and I do feel like that falls at the manager's door because we made some unnecessary changes. But overall. Second, again, going forward, get a win now at the weekend and hopefully, you know, more points on the board and, and you know, someone can do us a favour somewhere uh, and hopefully go top of the league. But yeah, we need to play the right people.